the Canada or creeping thistle. This is truly a magnificent plant. And yes, if you walk through this with shorts on, you're gonna pay for it dearly. This is a plant that has a very interesting history. When Scotland was under an imminent Viking invasion, the Scots piled up all their beaches with as many thistle plants as possible, possibly other thistles in addition to this one. But they just piled the beaches up with tons and tons of thistles, and then they just waited. During the night of the invasion, the sandal-clad Norsemen leaped onto the beach and let out cries of pain and curses. Warned of their approach, the Scots drove the Norsemen back into their ships. It's a small wonder that the thistle became Scotland's heraldic emblem, and it's the source of their motto, Touch Me Who Dares. Well, we foragers, we dare. Creeping thistle, or Canada thistle, whichever you prefer, this plant grows just about anywhere. And as you can see from this location, this is a virtual foragers shopping center, or grocery store, I guess, not a shopping center. So why talk about a plant that can actually hurt us when we touch it? Simple, we can eat it. Before foraging though, for these guys, you've got to be prepared. And here's some really good reasons why. Look at those barbs on those leaves. You're gonna need a really good pair of gloves and you're gonna need a knife. Harvesting the best leaf midribs in spring is actually the best time in terms of flavor. And there are some smaller ones in here somewhere. I might have to take a little walk later to find them for you. But anyways, the smaller the plant, the more tender and the sweeter it is. So these guys, even though they're starting to bloom, they'll still taste okay, but just not as sweet. Interestingly, in Portugal, a number of thistle species are collected in spring and they're actually sold at markets. They know it's good for them. A recent academic study highlighted the nutritional value of eating thistles. There's not a doubt we should be incorporating these into our daily diet. The findings of this study are contained within Ethnobotany in the New Europe, published in June 2010. The findings show that thistles contain higher levels of important major nutrients than some of our commonly consumed cultivated vegetables. For example, ounce for ounce, thistles come out higher in fiber, protein, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, copper, zinc, and other nutrients. That is quite impressive considering this is a thistle. Preparing thistles is pretty easy actually. Simply choose the most tender specimens. And if using the leaves, you do have to cut off those barbs. That's a lot of work. And quite frankly, I use that strictly as survival food or basically if I'm desperate to eat something green. But what you can do is take these stems and you can take these petioles right here. And with your knife, pair them, remove the barbs. You can use these as crudités, pickle or ferment them, or chop them up into salads and serve them with a tangy vinaigrette. Preparing the stems are very simple. And in the long run, just think of all the amazing nutrients you're gonna get from this. You can roast them, braise them. In addition, the root of the first year plant is edible as well, raw or cooked. They're nutritious, but compared to the stems and the leaves, actually, they're quite bland. So, one thing you should know about the root, though, it does probably contain inulin. I've not actually confirmed it at the time of doing this video, but I'm pretty darn sure that these roots would contain inulin. And this, of course, is a starch that cannot be digested by us. 
the starch passes right through our digestive system. And of course, with some of us, that means there's going to be some fermentation happenings that transforms into flatulence. <laughs> but sometimes that's an okay thing too. The thistle. Not just a prickly plant. These flower heads, before they open, you can gather them, put them in a brine, or if you don't want to make a brine, simply purchase your favorite jar of pickles. And once you have finished your pickles, toss these in. Or if you're into fermentation, these can easily be fermented as well. Now, if you missed the season for eating the flowers or the flower buds and they start to go to seed, if you're camping, this is incredible tinder to use. So here we go. The Canada thistle. Add this to your diet. Your body will definitely thank you. Thank you for watching.